Seven Day Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den basketball community. In this case, smash that like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. So, Kendrick Perkins of ESPN absolutely flamed his homeboy, uh, uh, JJ Reddick. All right. Uh, Kendrick Perkins, um, I guess yesterday or earlier this week, uh, made a comment that Nikola Jokic. Uh, the reigning MVP, uh, Kendrick Perkins, believes he's stat padding a little bit, all right? Now, J.J. Reddick has issue with this. J.J. Reddick was asked about this while Kendrick Perkins was off work. This is his off day. J.J. Reddick was asked about this by one of the females on the show, and he responded to Kendrick Perkins' statement. And J.J. said, let's not create uh, fake narratives. Let's not create these narratives, um, you know, and uh, he said, I know Kendrick Perkins wants, you know, Joel Embiid to be the MVP, but let's not start creating narratives. Well, well JJ, my question is, um, don't y'all create narratives? That's what y'all do. Y'all sit down, y'all create narratives every day on y'all show uh, about other players. Y'all had no problem doing it to Russell Westbrook, making up stories about him being a vampire in the locker room when all his teammates seem to love him. But you guys have these imaginary sources that tell you otherwise, right? So... Perkins, former NBA player, has a right to say he thinks Jokic uh, is stat padding. Now, Perkins says that all players know what their stats are. When a, a player is one or two rebounds away from a, uh, having a triple-double or a double-double, they're trying to get that. All right, If a player is, has 48 points, he knows it. He wants those last two points to get 50. And I believe Kendrick Perkins. You know, this is the same nonsense that uh, uh, people were saying about Westbrook, when he was averaging um, triple doubles, oh man, he 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 stat padding. They said about LeBron James, so why is Jokic any different? Um, so Kendrick Perkins responded from his home to uh, JJ Reddick, and this is what Kendrick Perkins had to say: Why people want to bother me when you know I'm supposed to be off today? But JJ, listen, man, this is all I'm saying. If you want a slap box? at least allowed me to be on TV to be able to throw my jabs and, you know, my uppercuts and, and be there to fight back. Here's the thing. No one is knocking what Jokic is doing for us. Him having an unbelievable season. He's an unbelievable player. He's one of the most skilled centers to ever play the damn game of basketball. But don't you act like you ain't wasn't in those locker rooms or didn't play with those players that were a point, uh, two, two rebounds or assists away from you know, having a triple-double or a double-double or hitting 50, it goes on all the Right. And this, this this happens all the time. But for whatever reason, some players like J.J. Redick and others want to keep this some some secret or supposed to be some unwritten rule that nobody's supposed to talk about. But we all – I mean, Dame literally just had 71, you know. As soon as Dame got 60, you knew he was going for that 71. You know that. Time. It goes on all the time across the league. And it's okay. Guys should be able to to reach milestones and live in the moment, and their team they should be able to be there to help them reach those certain milestones. But don't act like you don't know and wasn't part of it and share locker rooms where that that type of stuff happened because it happens all the time. That's the first thing. Second of all, when it comes down to the MVP race and, and winning MVPs, Jokic should want to win a third MVP. It's one of the highest achievement, if not the highest award, that an individual could win in the league. So why wouldn't you care? You should care about winning the MVP. Let's not take that for granted. Now let's talk about the criteria. We don't know the criteria for MVP because the goalposts move every single season. And talk about it, Big Perk. The goalposts move every season. When Giannis was two-time MVP, the media unanimously, unanimously said – they ain't giving Giannis another uh, MVP until he win a championship. They was mad that Giannis re-signed with the Milwaukee Bucks, and they tried to punish him. Oh, well, he, he got to win a championship. I know the re it's a regular season award, but he still got to win a championship. That was their, that was their criteria. Now for Jokic, is different. Just because I 
feel like MB should be in the conversation, should be the front runner because he affect both ends of the floor. I'm wrong. I watched MB go nine for I believe 25 or 27 from the field, but still dominated the game with 18, 19 rebounds, six blocks for them in the second half when they played like two games ago. I mean, I just seen the different impact. I ain't wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? I may tr- love to drink some rock. You might love to drink Hennessy. Both of them go get you drunk. But I tell you this much, I'm going to see you tomorrow with your little Elvis Presley looking ass. And boy, I'm coming right at you. <laughs> Big Perk. Big Perk. Well, you know, JJ been into it with a few of his uh, ESPN colleagues lately. Uh, JJ is trying to make a name for itself, having a lot of hot takes um, lately. And, uh, you know, trying to really get it establish yourself over there at ESPN. <clears throat> so these things like this are going to be happening uh, in, as, as the playoffs uh, get closer, you know, in the NBA. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think of Kendrick Perkins' comments about Jokic stat padding. Is it possible that Jokic is stat padding? And do you think that the NBA uh, criteria for MVP changes every year? 78 Sports TV, salute to the Patreon. I'm sorry, I said Patreon. Shout out to all y'all that's on my Patreon, though. Salute to the mighty LDBC. We up out of here, deuces.